Hi guys, 2020 has been a wild year, so we thought we'd send a warm hug into the world with a firmware update for our Elite Series ECUs. Now the real big winners are the 550, 750 and 950 range of ECUs, but all Elites get this update. And the best part is, it's totally free. It's no secret that 2020 has been a year like no other in living history. So, we're here to share some love into the world. What we're releasing today is a whole bunch of functionality into our Elite Series ECUs. Now the 550, 750 and 950 ECUs get some features and functions that have never been available in our entry level products before. So let's walk through some of what these new features are that are found in the 2.37 firmware update. All of the single connector ECUs will now have engine protection. They'll get closed loop boost control with long term learning. You get flat shift, launch control and a whole new water injection functionality has been added as well. The Elite 550 and 750 ECUs will get the generic timer function so you can set up things like race timers or some other event driven timer. The Elite 550 ECU picks up onboard data logging cam control, flex fuel sensor input, as well as all the fuel tuning options for flex fuel and ethanol blends. Nitrous control has been added, as has closed loop idle control, but possibly the most exciting feature that's been added to the 550 ECU is long-term learning of the fuel map. In addition to all of this, any unused fuel and ignition outputs can now be assigned for any other functionality. These updates bring all the Elite Series single connector ECUs up to the same functionality specification, with the only difference between the units now being the number of inputs and outputs on each unit. For our dual connector Elite Series ECU customers, that's guys with a Elite 1000, 1500, 2000 or 2500 ECU, we've added a whole new advanced water injection functionality that allows for fully mappable ignition correction that can advance or retard the ignition timing when the water injection is active. Fueling corrections can also be made to account for the addition of methanol or any water meth injection system. Safety switches for your water meth tank levels and that sort of thing have also been incorporated directly into this new functionality. There's a couple other smaller updates and bug fixes in this firmware release as well. Full details can be found through your ESP software by clicking on the green ESP icon and selecting the product version support notes for your particular ECU. Did I mention the price? It's totally free. So, not only do all new ECUs get this functionality loaded in, but even your older ECU you might have bought three years ago can be updated to all the latest and greatest features. So go ahead now and get those new features in your old faithful ECU. Well, that's all I've got time for today. I'm Matt from Haltech. 